Hi, and welcome to the AYTM.com Star and Smiley Ratings tutorial video. Star and Smiley Ratings are very simple ways to gather ratings for several entities in the same question, such as asking respondents to rate different aspects of a product or service. Smiley Ratings are also the simplest way for respondents to communicate their basic level of happiness with each of the tested items. To build this question, first specify your tested entities or sub-questions. You can use up to seven, while AYTM Prime members enjoy up to ten. In some cases, you may want to use star or smiley ratings as a question type, but apply it directly to your main question without adding sub-questions. For example, please rate this package design on a scale from 1 to 7 stars, or please indicate how happy you are with this package design. In this case, simply remove the two sub-question placeholders that were created for you by default, and move on to setting up the number of stars or smiley faces you'd like. You can choose the number of stars presented to respondents from the drop-down menu. You will find a list ranging from 2 to 10 stars, and then another list ranging from 2 to 10 stars where each scale contains an NA, or Not Applicable, option. The NA option is presented to the right of the star rating widget, and is useful for situations when the respondent has no experience or opinion regarding the matter. By adding the NA answer option, you may achieve a cleaner data set. Respondents will be required to assign a star rating for each sub-question by clicking on the corresponding number of stars or on the NA button in order to advance. You can also choose two or three emoticons in addition to the happy and unhappy ones. As with stars, respondents will be required to choose a smiley face for each sub-question by clicking on it in order to advance. The main question and each sub-question can also have a unique image associated with them. Each image can be expanded to the full width of the survey widget, or appear as a thumbnail and pop up on mouse rollover as a reference. All sub-questions can have the same optional skip logic destination associated with them. Conditional logic is available upon request. The order in which sub-questions appear for each respondent can be randomized if global randomization is on in the survey. Each specific sub-question can be anchored to its position to make an exception from the global randomization rule. And that's it for now. Thanks again for watching, and feel free to ping us with questions or to set up a personal demo.